The practice of meditation was the central work that took place with Shakyamuni Buddha. When people came to be with him because they were attracted by his by his wisdom and his overall emanation that probably was very radiant even though not everybody recognized that in those days um, meditation was what he put people to practice and he said that the flowering of your meditation will take place when I see you engage in compassionate actions. When your meditation flowers, you will become a compassionate human being and compassion will become the very atmosphere wherein you live, breathe and act. And. Um, that is that was Shakyamuni Buddha's measuring stick of of what what it means to successfully meditate. You become a compassionate human being. Um, I want to expand that a little bit. And I want to simply say that the measuring stick for for a flowering human being, for a flowering of humanity, even even beyond whether you practice meditation or not because I know people that do not meditate at all and they're extremely, extremely compassionate um, heart-based human beings and I also know people that are meditating a lot that they're not so compassionate at all so you never know um, so I would like to say the flowering of humanity is is seen in acts of compassion so I would like to invite us one more time to, to take a look uh, at the world and to begin to look at others with, with the feeling that and the question uh, of how would it be to be in the shoes of the other person um, to imagine that and, and to relate to other human beings other sentient beings um, in the same way that we would like others to treat us this wonderful this wonderful universal invitation treat others the way you would like to be treated and I think this is a wonderful wonderful exercise of mindfulness that we could engage in every day treat others the way we would like to be treated um, to engage in compassionate action um, is not only the the natural the natural actions of the heart, um, but it also is actually very very healing and incredibly satisfying. Uh, on top of that, believe me when I tell you that if you engage in truly compassionate actions, and if you contribute to other beings suffering becoming less. Um, trust me when I tell you it's a lot more satisfying than buying a brand new, brand new Mercedes um, and the effect that you will have from from engaging and supporting a process that brings compassion to this world uh, the effects are much more long lasting also so again one more time this invitation um, on this wonderful morning here in Paris um, let us be more compassionate, let us fall into the center of our hearts, see what's there and um, what is there is this wonderful soft radiance um, that, that wants to relate to the world in a way that is loving, that wants to relate to the world in a way that diminishes, diminishes suffering, alleviates suffering, that is what is in the center of the heart. So. I would like to invite all of us one more time to enter into this wonderful journey into the center of the heart and this is Andreas, my mate, saying hello from Paris. I love you lots. Bye bye.